Hey everyone, I want to quickly show you how you can get started and build your very first decentralized or decent IoT device. Uh, this is the current prototype of the ELK board. In this prototype, it's an external antenna, but the final version will include an integrated antenna, so this won't be there. There are a few LEDs here. There's a status LED. This means that uh, we're connected to the Wi-Fi, we're synced to the network, we're good to go. A couple of LEDs here for power and kernel, and at the very bottom, there is a user programmable LED. And what we're going to program today is we are going to control this built-in LED here remotely through our phone. And normally for you to do something like this, you would either need to use a cloud provider or to provision a server, but not anymore in the world of decentralization. We are going to be using Whisper. Whisper is a decentralized messaging protocol. It'll allow us to communicate through our phone to this device with no intermediary cloud provider. And more importantly, our communication will be fully encrypted and our metadata will be virtually untraceable. So let's get started. We have built a Visual Studio Code plugin. And so this is what I'm using here for development. And our SDK is built on wiring. And so if you've used an Arduino before, this should look very familiar to you. If you haven't, an Arduino sketch essentially looks like this. It has a setup method. So this is code that is executed when I plug in the board. And there's a loop method. And this is code that is executed forever. It continuously gets executed until you turn off the board. And so in the setup here, I just mentioned that I'm going to be using the built-in LED. And I'm going to add two functions, an on function that turns on the LED and an off function that turns off the built-in LED. And these are the functions that I essentially want to call remotely. And to do that via Whisper, I'm going to use the Elk wrapper. This is a wrapper that we've developed to make it easier to build uh, these kinds of devices. And I'm going to give, I'm going to do Elk.expose. I'm going to give a name of the command. So here I'm going to call it on. And whenever the board receives this command, uh, it's going to call a function, in this case the on function. And I'm going to do the same for the off. I'm going to create a command called off, and it's going to run the off function. And that is it. That is all the code that I need to build a decentralized device, essentially. Uh, I'm going to put that to the test. I already have this sketch flashed on the board. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Elk app. So this is the Elk app. You can see I already have a couple of other boards configured. Now I need to configure uh, this phone to communicate with this board. Uh, and in order for me to do that, I need to know its public key, which I can get from the uh, IDE that we have. So I'm going to click Add Board. I'm going to scan the QR code. And there's a board name defined here. And so in the background, uh, this app is using Whisper to get the board name that I've defined in the configuration. And it's going to look for commands that are in the sketch. So as you can see, it found there was an on command and an off command. And it created automatically this UI for me to control this device. So let's put that to the test. This is going to be a bit challenging with the hands. So let me press the on, here we go. Boom, as you can see at the very bottom corner here, the LED lit up. Let me turn that off. Perfect. And the magic here is that this doesn't need to be on the local network. I can do this from anywhere in the world with no third party that is responsible for relaying this message no third party that can deny me access to this device, and no third party that can track when I'm using this device. Uh, and this is obviously a very simple example, but using the exact same logic, you can build a lot more interesting example, like a decentralized, fully private door lock, or thermostat, or smart lighting system, home automation, whatever you can think of, basically. Uh, you can, in the IDE that we've built, in the, Chrome, in the uh, Visual Studio Code extension, uh, you can whitelist specific devices. So I can whitelist, for example, only this device to communicate with my board. And additionally, uh, you don't need to be using the Elk wrappers that we've created. You don't need to be using this app. 
uh, we have in our SDK support for raw whisper. And so here is an example of how to write the same sketch using raw whisper, except that you wouldn't be able to use the LK app, but the exact same concepts apply as well. Uh, and that is it. We just built our first decentralized IoT device.